Her third Oscar. You always did stink at math, Joni. Not a third Oscar. Her tenth nomination, her eighth loss. That's the way you gotta think of it. But she is the odds-on favorite. Well, that's because this town loves nothing more than to bestow titles. And they're just itching to give that old nag the triple crown. Well, we're gonna see she doesn't get it. How? Mm. Easy. There are, as of now, 655 Academy members in your peer group who will be casting a vote for Best Actress. We just have to get to, say, 100 of them, and we can tip this thing. You mean actually lobby the Academy members to vote against her? Why not? Well, because it would be seen as sour grapes on my part. And that's why you have to stay squeaky clean. You let me poison the well, you're gonna serve up nothing but rainbows and moonbeams. Get out your phone book. We're gonna play a little game I learned from Jack Webb. Good cop, bad cop. I'll put the word out on Davis. You plunk up the other nominees. Well, who do you think is her closest competition? Well, they're not gonna give it to that buzzard Hepburn. Oh. She's never once showed up to the ceremony. I'll badmouth her a little bit, too. Her and those slacks. Remick's no threat. They all still think of her as a television actress. Push for Paige or Bancroft. Lean on the Hollywood reaches out to Broadway angle. One of them gets it, it'll sting her even more. You hate her more than I do. I find her vulgar. Besides, she thinks we're all hypocrites. Aren't we, though, Hedda? Well, of course we are. But I'm not going to be judged for it, not by her. Hypocrisy is the tribute vice must pay to virtue. You've always understood that. She never has. The only reason the rest of the country allows this Babylon to stay standing is because it believes we have a conscience. And for 30 years, I have been that conscience. And I gave up everything for it. My career as an actress, my marriage, my dream of having many children. What has she sacrificed? Nothing. Well, then, let's make some calls. Chuck, it's Hedda. I just had to call and say how much I loved you and El Cid. How I adore a man in a leather skirt. Oh, I thank you, Doris. That's very sweet of you. But I really wasn't expecting one this year. Oh, but I was thrilled to see Geraldine Page get nominated, weren't you? Yes, a concussion. She kicked her right in the head, twice. Joan would have been well within her rights to file assault charges. Well, I was lucky enough to see Miss Bancroft play it on stage. And do you know, Loretta, her Annie Sullivan seemed even more blind on screen. Why should she have three? You know the one they gave her for dangerous she uses as a doorstop? Mm. Her bathroom. Can you believe it? That poor Oscar has to watch that woman go to the toilet. No, Anne Bancroft is absolutely brilliant. Love to you, Carrie. 